Hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Saturdays. My name is Gina and um, today I decided to show you guys uh, last two weeks we've done something you know a little bit more complicated something bigger makeup bags and then the the purse but those are things that take a long time so I decided that this week we would do something small um, something that you can add your keys to it it looks like this and um, so when you open it it's for change and if you go like this you can see I already have some change in here see and then you slide it over to the other end hang your keys close it here and you can hang your keys here and I put a couple snaps also here All right, so let's get started with some um, some materials. Uh, I'm gonna put this one here to the side. So I have I have here. Let's see. So I pick these fabrics here. I have my pattern here. This little piece that I'm gonna be actually uh, putting on the description, just so you guys can download. Also, there's this circle here. That's the closure. Um, I have here for fabrics let's have a look so I have a piece that's I'm gonna tell you in inches and centimeters so if you're dealing with centimeters and if you're dealing with inches then you can uh, you can work both of them so the pieces that I have here is um, nine and a half inches by eight inches and centimeters would be about 25 centimeters by 21 centimeters and this doesn't have to be exact because this is just a piece that we're going to be tracing our pattern so and what do i have here i have two of my uh, main fabric that i'm going to use for the outside and two for my inside and lining right uh, as you see my lining here they're not stabilized so because I I'm gonna show you how to stabilize is slightly different today um, then what we're gonna do with this um, on this one if you see I have little dogs right and I have one in each side but in order to accomplish that because if the fabric is directional what you got to do you got to cut half of your circle half of your pattern here you know mark it to you give it a uh, half an inch bigger than half circle so I would have to if it was directional and I want to have a particular so I would fold this like this to get my picture that I would want it and from here up I would have to add my seam allowance about a half an inch because then the next piece would have to attach here so first then so I could cut my pattern all right this is what I did on this one here Okay, on this one I'm just going to use a floral, so I'm just going to center my, my pattern to uh, a little bit of the design, so the way I want it. But other than that, um, I'm not going to have to cut anything in half or anything like that. So what I have here, um, what I did, I actually got uh, SF101, it's a pillon stabilizer, uh, it's a cotton stabilizer, it's infused to one side. You can use a different one, whatever you can, you have around and I'm gonna pick one that's gonna be my front and I think maybe this one here so I'm gonna turn it over and as you see I'm probably gonna use that flower here as my main so I'm gonna get this one here okay and I'm gonna try to center that flower to the middle in my stabilizer because this is a thin stabilizer I can see it right through so I'm gonna center that with my size here and then here I'm gonna end up with a smaller flower okay so and I'm gonna go ahead and iron this all right so what I did forget to tell you was I started with um, a big piece of white stabilizer uh, SF 101 and what I did I traced my pattern on it I traced it I went on my stabilizer traced it put my pattern on traced it 
and I cut it right on the line, on the stabilizer. Okay, the fabric I'm not gonna cut it on the line, but on the stabilizer I did. That's one detail that I forgot to tell you. So I cut my stabilizer to my design. Then we're gonna go ahead and what I was just telling you about, that I was gonna center my stabilizer to my design and I'm gonna take this to my iron and I'm gonna iron it on, okay? Then I'm gonna get another piece of, um, of my lining and my inside. I'm also gonna get the other one that, as you see, this one I actually cut at the middle circle. On this one here, I'm also gonna go and iron this one on one of the fabrics that's my lining. And these two I'm gonna leave to the side, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and iron that and then I'm gonna show you what you do next. All right, so I'm back. As you see, I ironed my stabilizer SF101 to my two pieces, one to my lining, one of my outside fabric. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my other lining that I have here, and I'm gonna put these right sides together. And I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and see, now I don't need to draw because I already have my design here. So what I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna be sewing just the inside here. So the needle should be sewing right on the outside of the stabilizer, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew this all the way around. Okay, when you are done that, we're gonna cut it, okay? So we, when you're done that, we're gonna cut this around, okay? With either pinking shears or just, uh, you know, regular scissors, it doesn't matter, okay? So I'm gonna go that and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I sew this all the way around. What I forgot to tell you, and this is important when we sew circles, is to decrease your uh, stitch length to 1.8. Why do that? Because when you're sewing circles, uh, when you put the, the presser foot down, your fabric is going to have a tendency to stretch. So by going with a really, really small uh, stitch length, your fabric has less st uh, stretch and your circle will end up a lot nicer. So what we're going to do, we're going to fold this like this. We're going to take a piece out. And I'm actually going to use my pinking shears and I'm going to trim close to my my seam okay but not too close you don't want to cut your seam if you don't have pinking shears I think I mentioned before we're gonna be uh, cutting little slits around like we're gonna be cutting little you know cuts all the way around your circle so when you turn your fabric has more opening like that more of a stretch see because it's cut around like that okay after you're done that, what we're going to do, we're going to turn this to this side, okay, just like that, okay, then you're going to take this to the iron, okay, you're going to take it to the iron and you're going to press it and have just that like that, okay. After you've done this part here, now you have your two pieces together. Okay, press it really nicely, like that. So your next step after you have this part here and pressed and uh, fixed up, you're gonna get your main fabric and we're gonna need right sides together. And what I want, what I want is, I want to mark my middle here. Not too close, but see, I'm cutting both pieces all the way, just here, when I know they should be meeting. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn my fabrics. Okay, and this side here, the one that I had the flower, was the one that I had decided 
that I wanted to center to the front, right? So what I'm gonna go do is, so I want this to be to my front. I'm gonna get this after it's pressed and you do a little top stitch around. You're gonna get this, this one here. You're gonna put it on top like that, all right? Because we're gonna have to now, we're gonna have to put this one on top center with our our um, design, okay? And we're gonna have to now trace it, trace it on this lining here. But I want you to go ahead and um, press this properly first, and then we're gonna trace it with one of these erasable pens. So we're gonna trace this all the way around because this is gonna be our um, sewing line, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna press this, uh, I'm gonna top stitch, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, just gonna trim my threads, all right? So our next step is we're gonna be attaching this little piece here that we have here to cover that little hole there, okay? So I have a circle here. And what I did, I also trace my circle on the SF, so the SF 101 diffusible stabilizer. And then I have a little piece of fabric here. And this piece is, let's see, about nine and a half by four in centimeters is about 25 centimeters by by 10 and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find one piece so my right side is this here and I'm gonna be finding one piece that I want that to be the center as I did here with the dog okay um, and I'm gonna fuse that to the middle here after I'm done that uh, as you see my piece is long I'm gonna fold that in half after it's fused okay and I'm gonna be sewing this circle all the way around what I'm gonna do is about I would say about an inch from this side here and an inch from this side here I'm gonna go up like that so I'm not gonna sew it here so as you see I'm gonna be sewing around my circle right on the side as using as the old side of the stabilizer as my sewing line and then when I get here about one inch I'm gonna sew out and here in like that and then I'm gonna turn that to the right side and iron it okay I'll be right back so I'm back I sew my circle remember that when you sew circle to using a pinking shears to cut around and decrease your uh, stitch length to 1.8 because you end up with a better project. All right, so now I have this here and then I have my part here. And remember that I told you that now we gotta trace our design into our lining, our two pieces that we had here. So I'm gonna center that there and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trace it. Okay, so I traced it. So now what I'm gonna get my my little cover here that I have here, that I have with my flower. As I, you see, I attach it to this top here. So what I'm gonna go is, I'm gonna go here close to my area here. I'm gonna go and sew it across like that, all right? But this one is slightly too big. I don't need this this long. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim this down a little bit. So I have about, let's see. From my curve up, about a half an inch. Okay, so about two centimeters. Okay, and then like I said, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna 
sew it this way first close to our line we're gonna sew across and then we're gonna bring it down and sew it again across here so it ends up like this covering our hole okay just make sure you center it okay so make sure you center it with this part here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back okay so I'm back so I sew that across here and I uh, have a couple strings that needs to be cut all right try to use the same color thread here I have a different color because I want you guys to see it but um, it's better to sew with the same color that matches your fabric your project will look a lot nicer okay so then we're gonna get the pieces and remember that we already cut this part here because we center our fabric we know this is going to be on the center um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm also gonna center this part here so I know where my middle is all right so when I trace this is because I need it to uh, to know where my where this part was going to be so that's why I had to trace it there so now we're we gonna go ahead we're gonna go here and we're gonna match these slits that we have here see the cutouts that we did we're gonna match them match and match so I know I'm centered okay and I'm gonna go ahead again and trace this because now this is going to be my sewing line okay okay so I traced it so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put a couple pins and I'm gonna go ahead and sew on that line all the way around and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I saw my seam all the way around my circle and I use a 1.8 seam 1.8 my stitch length and now I'm going to use my pinking shears and I'm going to cut this close to my seam okay okay so you're going to go here try to go closer to the seam slightly and then we're going to turn it to the right side so we're just going to turn it through the hole that we have here we're going to turn everything to the other side. So we're going to take this to the iron. We're going to press it really well. And as you see in here, I attach some snaps. I attach one there and one there. I make sure I only attach to my lining. Okay, and so it closes that part there. I also attach one there, one there, so this can close here. And then I attached these little holes here these little pieces here okay and that you need a tool for it okay and then you can hang this in your purse so let me go ahead and iron this and I'll be right back so I'm back and I'm gonna show you how to install these eyelets okay so they look like this they're very tiny and for that you're going to need a tool I have if you have a chance to get one of these they're really good that's the pliers for the eyelets and um, the first step on this I'm just going to do it quickly is it's to make the little holes so there's a little tool like this that's to take these pieces out because I need to make the holes And I'm going to re replace with one piece that looks like that. And where's the other piece? And this one 
it looks like that one goes there and my mat is dark I'm almost lost it and then that one goes there so now you decide where you want the little hole and I want one right about here so I'm just gonna put my fabric in between and I'm just gonna press it press it makes that sound and already if you see there's a little hole there okay I'm gonna do my next hole right about here it's better if you mark it first with a pencil or so make sure they are at where you want them again press and there it is my hole so I'm get these one at one of these so the top that you want to see goes to the top of your fabric and you're gonna push it through the other side As you see it comes through the other side it's like that And this one also goes like that. So I have them in place. Now I need to take these out and put the other presser to attach those on to uh, squeeze them together so they so that comes out. Then then I go with this one here and this one here. But as you see, these come with instructions, so you can always follow the instructions. You won't have a hard time using it. It's actually fairly easy. Then I want this side here to go on the blue side. So the, the outside of my eyelet goes on the blue side. So it's going to sit right there, that little hole. Then you're just going to press. And you don't need a lot of strength for this one and press and voila done okay so I've done another video that I show you guys how to put snaps so I'm gonna touch one snap here one here and then I'm also gonna put one here one here just to close it then I'm gonna get one of these key things and put it through my holes here okay and as you see that you have the hole there you can get some change I have lots of change here. Or anything else and you're done. And we're all done. Well, I hope you like this video. And um, we'll see you next Saturday. Happy sewing, everyone.